brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Winnie the Pooh Winnie the Pooh, also called Pooh Bear, is a fictional anthropomorphic teddy bear created by English author A. A. Milne. The first collection of stories about the character was the book Winnie the Pooh, and this was followed by The House at Pooh Corner. Milne also included a poem about the bear in the children's verse book When We Were Very Young, and many more in Now We Are Six. All four volumes were illustrated by E. H. Shepard. The Pooh stories have been translated into many languages, including Alexander Leonard's Latin translation, Winnie Eel Pooh, which was first published in 1958, and, in 1960, became the only Latin book ever to have been featured on the New York Times bestseller list. Hyphens in the character's name were dropped by Disney. When the company adapted the Pooh stories into a series of features that became one of its most successful franchises, in popular film adaptations, Pooh Bear has been voiced by actors Sterling Holloway, Hal Smith, and Jim Cummings in English and Yevgeny Leonov in Russian. Origin a. A. Milne named the character Winnie the Pooh after a teddy bear owned by his son, Christopher Robin Milne, who was the basis for the character Christopher Robin. The rest of Christopher Robin Milne's toys, Piglet, Eeyore, Kanga, Roo and Tigger, were incorporated into Milne's stories. Two more characters, Owl and Rabbit, were created by Milne's imagination, while Gopher was added to the Disney version. Christopher Robin's toy bear is on display at the main branch of the New York Public Library in New York City. Christopher Milne had named his toy bear after Winnie, a Canadian black bear he often saw at London Zoo, and Pooh, a swan they had met while on holiday. The bear cub was purchased from a hunter for $20 by Canadian Lieutenant Harry Colborne in White River, Ontario, Canada. While en route to England during the First World War, he named the bear Winnie. After his adopted hometown in Winnipeg, Manitoba, Winnie was surreptitiously brought to England with her owner and gained unofficial recognition as the Fort Garry Horse Regimental mascot. Colborne left Winnie at the London Zoo while he and his unit were in France. After the war she was officially donated to the zoo, as she had become a much-loved attraction there. Who the Swan appears as a character in its own right in When We Were Very Young. In the first chapter of Winnie the Pooh, Milne offers this explanation of why Winnie the Pooh is often called simply, Pooh. Ashdown Forest, the setting for the stories. The Winnie the Pooh stories are set in Ashdown Forest, East Sussex, England. The forest is a large area of tranquil open heathland on the highest sandy ridges of the High Weald. Area of outstanding natural beauty, situated 30 miles south of London. In 1925 Milne, a Londoner, bought a country home a mile to the north of the forest at Cotchford Farm, near Hartfield. According to Christopher Milne, while his father continued to live in London, the four of us, he, his wife, his son and his son's nanny, would pile into a large blue, chauffeur-driven Fiat, and travel down every Saturday morning and back again every Monday afternoon. And we would spend a whole glorious month there in the spring and two months in the summer. From the front lawn the family had a view across a meadow to a line of alders that fringed the river Medway, beyond which the ground rose through more trees until finally, above them, in the faraway distance, crowning the view, was a bare hilltop. In the center of this hilltop was a clump of pines. Most of his father's visits to the forest at this time were, he noted, family expeditions on foot to make yet another attempt to count the pine trees on Gill's lap to search for the marsh gentian. 
Christopher added that, inspired by Ashdown Forest, his father had made it the setting for two of his books, finishing the second little over three years after his arrival. Many locations in the stories can be linked to real places in and around the forest. As Christopher Milne wrote in his autobiography, Pooh's Forest and Ashdown Forest are identical. For example, the fictional 100-acre wood was in reality 500-acre wood. Galleon's Leap was inspired by the prominent hilltop of Gill's Lap, while a clump of trees just north of Gill's Lap became Christopher Robin's The Enchanted Place. Because no one had ever been able to count whether there were 63 or 64 trees in this circle. The landscapes depicted in E. H. Shepard's illustrations for the Winnie the Pooh books were directly inspired by the distinctive landscape of Ashdown Forest, with its high, open heathlands of heather, gorse, bracken and silver birch punctuated by hilltop clumps of pine trees. Many of Shepard's illustrations can be matched to actual views, allowing for a degree of artistic license. Shepard's sketches of pine trees and other forest scenes are held at the Victoria and Albert Museum in London. The game of Pooh Sticks was originally played by Christopher Milne on a footbridge across a tributary of the River Medway in Posingford Wood. Close to Cotchford Farm, the wooden bridge is now a tourist attraction and it has become traditional to play the game there using sticks gathered in nearby woodland. When the footbridge recently had to be replaced, the engineer designed a new structure based closely on the drawings of the bridge by Shepard in the books, which were somewhat different than the original structure. First Publication Christopher Robin's teddy bear, Edward, made his character D.E. a cute B.U.T. in A.A. Milne's poem, Teddy Bear, in the 13th of February 1924 edition of Punch. And the same poem was published in Milne's book of children's verse when we were very young. Winnie the Pooh first appeared by name on the 24th of December 1925, in a Christmas story commissioned and published by the London newspaper, The Evening News. It was illustrated by J. H. Dowd. The first collection of Pooh stories appeared in the book Winnie the Pooh. The Evening News Christmas story reappeared as the first chapter of the book. At the beginning, it explained that Pooh was in fact Christopher Robin's Edward Bear, who had been renamed by the boy. He was renamed after a black bear at London Zoo called Winnie who got her name from the fact that her owner had come from Winnipeg, Canada. The book was published in October 1926 by the publisher of Milne's earlier children's work, Methuen, in England, and E. P. Dutton in the United States. Sequel an authorized sequel Return to the Hundred Acre Wood was published on 5 October 2009. The author, David Benedictus, has developed but not changed Milne's characterizations. The illustrations, by Mark Burgess, are in the style of Shepard. Another authorized sequel, The Best Bear in All the World, was published by Egmont in 2016. The sequel consists of four short stories by four leading children's authors, Kate Saunders, Brian Sibley, Paul Bright, and Jean Willis. Illustrations are by Mark Burgess. The best bear in all the world sees the introduction of a new character, a penguin, which was inspired by a long-lost photograph of Milne and his son Christopher with a toy penguin. A further special story, Winnie the Pooh Meets the Queen, was published in 2016. To mark the 90th anniversary of Milne's creation and the 90th birthday of Elizabeth II, it sees Winnie the Pooh meet the Queen at Buckingham Palace. Winnie the Pooh and the Missing Bees Winnie the Pooh and the Missing Bees is a forthcoming book being written by the British Beekeepers Association. 
and Mark Burgess about the then current decline in Britain's bee population. Stephen Schlesinger on 6 January 1930, Stephen Schlesinger purchased U.S. and Canadian merchandising, television, recording and other trade rights to Winnie the Pooh, works from Milne for a $1,000 advance, and 66% of Schlesinger's income, creating the modern licensing industry. By November 1931, Pooh was a $50 million a year business. Schlesinger marketed Pooh and his friends for more than 30 years, creating the first Pooh doll, record, board game, puzzle, U.S. radio broadcast, animation, and motion picture film. Red Shirt Pooh The first time Pooh and his friends appeared in color was 1932, when he was drawn by Schlesinger in his now familiar red shirt and featured on an RCA Victor picture record. Parker Brothers also introduced A.A. A. Milne's Winnie the Pooh game in 1933, again, with Pooh in his red shirt. In the 1940s, Agnes Brush created the first plush dolls, with Pooh in his red shirt. Shepard had drawn Pooh with a shirt as early as the first Winnie the Pooh book which was subsequently colored red in later colored editions. Disney Ownership Era, 1966-present After Schlesinger's death in 1953, his wife, Shirley Schlesinger Laswell, continued developing the character herself. In 1961, she licensed rights to Walt Disney Productions in exchange for royalties in the first of two agreements between Stephen Schlesinger, Inc. and Disney. The same year, A. A. Milne's widow, Daphne Milne, also licensed certain rights, including motion picture rights, to Disney. Since 1966, Disney has released numerous animated productions starring Winnie the Pooh and related characters. These have included theatrical featurettes, television series, and direct-to-video films, as well as the theatrical feature-length films The Tiger Movie, Piglet's Big Movie, Who's Heffalump Movie, and Winnie the Pooh. Merchandising Revenue Dispute who videos, soft toys, and other merchandise generate substantial annual revenues for Disney. The size of Pooh stuffed toys ranges from beanie and miniature to human-sized. In addition to the stylized Disney Pooh, Disney markets classic Pooh merchandise which more closely resembles E. H. Shepard's illustrations. In 1991, Stephen Schlesinger, Inc filed a lawsuit against Disney which alleged that Disney had breached their 1983 agreement by again failing to accurately report revenue from Winnie the Pooh sales. Under this agreement, Disney was to retain approximately 98% of gross worldwide revenues while the remaining 2% was to be paid to Schlesinger. In addition, the suit alleged that Disney had failed to pay required royalties on all commercial exploitation of the product name. Though the Disney Corporation was sanctioned by a judge for destroying 40 boxes of evidential documents, the suit was later terminated by another judge. When it was discovered that Schlesinger's investigator had rummaged through Disney's garbage in order to retrieve the discarded evidence, Schlesinger appealed the termination, and on 26 September 2007, a three-judge panel upheld the lawsuit dismissal after the Copyright Term Extension Act of 1998. Claire Milne, Christopher Milne's daughter, attempted to terminate any future U.S. copyrights for Stephen Schlesinger, Inc. After a series of legal hearings, Judge Florence Marie Cooper of the U.S. District Court in California found in favor of Stephen Schlesinger, Inc. as did the United States Court of Appeals for the Ninth Circuit. 
On 26 June 2006, the U.S. Supreme Court refused to hear the case, sustaining the ruling and ensuring the defeat of the suit. On 19 February 2007 Disney lost a court case in Los Angeles which ruled their misguided claims to dispute the licensing agreements with Schlesinger, Inc. were unjustified. But a federal ruling of 28 September 2009, again from Judge Florence Marie Cooper, determined that the Schlesinger family had granted all trademark and copyright rights to Disney. Although Disney must pay royalties for all future use of the characters, both parties have expressed satisfaction with the outcome. Audio Selected Poo Stories Read by Morris Evans released on vinyl LP in 1968 MV recorded a dramatized version with songs of two episodes from The House of Pooh Corner, starring Ian Carmichael as Pooh, Denise Breyer as Christopher Robin, Hugh Lloyd as Tigger, Penny Morrill as Piglet, and Terry Norris as Eeyore. This was released on a 45 revolutions per minute EP in the 1970s and 1980s. Carol Channing recorded Winnie the Pooh, The House of Pooh Corner and the Winnie the Pooh songbook with music by Don Heckman. These were released on vinyl LP and audio cassette by Cadman Records. Unabridged recordings read, by Peter Dennis of the Four Pooh Books, in 1979 a double audio cassette set of Winnie the Pooh, was produced featuring British actor Lionel Jeffries reading all characters in the stories. This was followed in 1981 by an audio cassette set of stories from House of Pooh Corner, also read by Lionel Jeffries. In the 1990s, the stories were dramatized for audio by David Benedictus, with music composed, directed and played by John Gould. They were performed by a cast that included Stephen Fry as Winnie the Pooh, Jane Horrocks as Piglet, Jeffrey Palmer as Eeyore and Judy Dench as Kanga. Theatrical feature films A live-action film is in development, with screenwriter Alex Ross Perry on board to write the screenplay and Mark Forster to direct. The story is planned to focus on an adult Christopher Robin returning to the Hundred Acre Wood. Soviet Adaptation in the Soviet Union, three Winnie the Pooh stories were made into a celebrated trilogy of short films by Soyuz Multifilm from 1969 to 1972. Films used Boris Zakhoda's translation of the book. Pooh was voiced by Yevgeny Leonov. Unlike the Disney adaptations, the animators did not base their depictions of the characters on Shepard's illustrations creating a different look. The Soviet adaptations make extensive use of Milne's original text, and often bring out aspects of Milne's characters' personalities not used in the Disney adaptations. Television A version of Winnie the Pooh, in which the animals were played by marionettes designed, made and operated by Bill and Cora Baird, was presented on 3 October 1960 on NBC Television's The Shirley Temple Show, who himself is voiced by Franz Fazakas. During the 1970s the BBC children's television show Jack and Ori serialized the two books, which were read by Willie Rushton. Magical World of Winnie the Pooh director video features. These features integrate stories from the new adventures of Winnie the Pooh and all holiday specials with new footage. Legacy Winnie the Pooh has inspired multiple texts to explain complex philosophical ideas. Benjamin Hoff used Milne's characters in The Tower of Pooh and The Tea of Piglet to explain Taoism. Similarly, Frederick Cruz wrote essays about the Pooh books in Obscure.
abstruse academic jargon in the poo perplex and postmodern poo to satirize a range of philosophical approaches. Poo and the Philosophers by John T. Williams uses Winnie the Pooh as a backdrop to illustrate the works of philosophers including Descartes, Kant, Plato and Nietzsche. One of the best-known characters in British children's literature. A 2011 poll saw Winnie the Pooh voted onto the list of icons of England. Forbes magazine ranked Pooh the most valuable fictional character in 2002, with merchandising products alone generating more than $5.9 billion that year. In 2005, Pooh generated $6 billion, a figure surpassed by only Mickey Mouse. In 2006, Pooh received a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame, marking the 80th birthday of Milne's creation. The bear is such a popular character in Poland that a Warsaw Street is named for him. Ulika Kubasia Pushatka. There is also a street named after him in Budapest. In music, Kenny Loggins wrote the song, House of Pooh Corner, which was originally recorded by the Nitty Gritty Dirt Band. Loggins later rewrote the song as, Return to Pooh Corner, featuring on the album of the same name in 1991. In Italy, a pop band took their name from Winnie, and were titled Pooh. In Estonia there is a punk metal band called Winnie Purr. In the, sport, of Poo Sticks, competitors drop sticks into a stream from a bridge and then wait to see whose stick will cross the finish line first. Though it began as a game played by Pooh and his friends in the book The House of Pooh Corner and later in the films, it has crossed over into the real world. A world championship Pooh Sticks race takes place in Oxfordshire each year. Ashdown Forest in England where the Pooh stories are set is a popular tourist attraction and includes the wooden Pooh Bridge where Pooh and Piglet invented Pooh Sticks. The Oxford University Winnie the Pooh Society was founded by undergraduates in 1982. Thank you for watching. Brought to you by WikiVD Documentaries. Please like and subscribe below. Please like and subscribe below.